Ah. Hello everybody, Dia Guillotine here, and welcome to the answering portion of the Q&A. Now, uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it, be right, be honest, be, be right up front with you guys. Once again, the Q&A kind of crashed and burned, just like last time I tried doing Q&A quite a while ago, and it kind of just 100% just crash and burn, nothing, I got like two questions, it felt pretty bad. Uh, and once again, it kind of happened this time too, I only got like five questions, certainly better than the last time, but uh, yeah, uh, it's hilarious to me because I put up a poll a couple weeks before I put up the, before I posted the Q&A, I said, uh, hey, would you guys be interested if I did a new Q&A, if I did a Q&A, would you guys participate? And that poll got like 11 things saying yes, zero no's, and then I got like five people participating in the Q&A, so. That feels good. So, yeah, uh, this is going to be the last Q&A for a long, 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 very, very, very long time. Because clearly, people are not interested. However, the people who did bother to put a question down there for me, they did a great job. I got some really, really good questions, and I'm going to go ahead and go through with doing this Q&A. Because even though there's only, like, seven people, like, seven people in total between this and the last one, because I am going to group the two, the couple questions I got from the last Q&A into this as well. Uh, between them, I got, like, six or seven people, I think, and uh, around 13 or so questions. And some of them are pretty good, and I think it's going to make for a pretty entertaining video, if I'm being honest here. So I'll go through with it. Why not? Uh, uh, we'll go through with it, but this will be the last Q&A I do for a very, very, very long time. Because you have no idea how disheartening it is to put up a Q&A asking people, uh, you know, to ask questions when people were kind of giving me the hints that it was going to, that they were actually going to participate and it was going to be a really fun video. Like, the last one was a long, long time ago, and then barely anybody actually tried it. And yeah, it, uh, it didn't feel good. So yeah, this is going to be the last one for a very very long time. If it ever happens again, honestly, might be the last one, period. So, without further ado, which is really sad, because I love doing these videos. I think these videos are a ton of fun. I love answering questions. I love as uh, answering the questions that you guys give me. I think it's just such a fun way for a, uh, a YouTuber to uh, to um, interact with their community, and they just get to know which, and I get to know, you guys, you, you guys just get to know me better. Uh, but yeah, I ain't going through this shit again, because it kind of hurt me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little depressed when this happened, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get this out there, it's gonna go in the past, and I'm gonna move on with life and not do another Q&A for a very, very long time, and I'm just gonna do me. So, without further ado, then I've got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the Q&A, because the people who did decide to bother, the people who did take a couple seconds out of their day to throw me a question down below, they absolutely deserve their questions answered, because they put a lot of thought into them, a lot of these questions are gonna be, I, I think, are, I, I actually am very happy with a lot of these questions, I think people actually put some thought into this, and the people who did bother, I definitely want to shout them out, and I want to answer their questions, and I do think this will be a pretty fun video, because I do think a couple of these questions is going to be pretty damn entertaining to hear to, to hear my answers from. So, let's get into this. So, the first one we're going to answer is from Sith Lord 22225 and this is from the original Q&A. He answered he asked this a long time ago. Highly doubt he's still stuck around with all the bumpy ride that my uh, that my channel has been, but if he is out there, I uh, I'm glad you stuck by me and I'm glad you uh waited. I'm sorry I had to, you had to wait so long to get your your question answered. Literally a little bit less than a year. I checked the days since that last one went up. It's been 314 days. <laughs> So yeah, I apologize, Sith Lord, but your question is really good, so I'm going to answer it anyway. And his question is, which old TF line would you want to get into or that you'd love to see Hasbro revisit? Prime! Prime! You guys know I love Prime! I love Prime so much! And uh, yeah, I want Prime toys. I'm probably going to get into those APC toys pretty soon. Uh, I asked for like all of them for my birthday, so hopefully I'll get one or two for my birthday, and then whichever ones I don't get from that, I'll save up for and get them on my own, because I, yeah, I want... Prime Toys, I was holding out a hope for uh, for Hasbro to deliver it with these new Prime figures with the uh, RC and the Bulkhead. And granted, I love the Bulkhead, and I do quite like the RC as well, but I, <laughs> I, I find it really funny that when those figures were getting announced, everybody was hating on the was hating on everybody because they were talking so much shit like, oh, why is it G1ified? And everybody was getting so mad at those people. And now it's been like unanimously decided that this was a bad move and nobody likes these G1 Prime figures. I do like these G1 Prime figures. Prime figures. I just want better Prime figures. I want actual Prime figures, not these G1 Prime figures, okay? I want a legit Prime Bulkhead. I want a legit Prime RC. I want a legit Prime Arachnid. I want 
Prime character. So yes, Prime. I would love to get those old toys, but they're fucking impossible to find. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, Hasbro, do a new Prime line. Like, it would sell like hotcakes. Prime is the most beloved cartoon by far. Transformers cartoon by far. It would get absolute, it would just go crazy with sales. I maybe the, I know the fucking, the, the recent ones weren't, didn't do very well, but that's because nobody wants those G1 ones. Even though Bull Kid's a really good figure. We want actual Prime figures, so please, yes, Prime, 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 Prime. Okay. Moving on, Mac Owens asked a ton of questions. Thank you so much, and I really like some of the questions that she asked. So, uh, let's get into this. This first one is actually from the first one as well. She was also one of the only people who bothered to throw me a question on that last one as well. And, uh, yeah, this, her, her, her one from that one is, if you had to lose everything in your collection, you could only keep one thing, what would it be? Energon Ironhide, my favorite Transformer toy of all time, my favorite Transformer figure, this thing. I had this one as a kid, it was my favorite Transformer toy of all time. I lost it somewhere down the road, I decided to reunite myself with it as an adult, and it has become my favorite Transformer figure of all time. Uh, the nostalgia I have for this thing is insane, I literally took this thing with me everywhere, I took it to doctor's appointments, would be in the waiting room with this thing, and just playing with it, flipping it back and forth over and over and over again, uh, taking it to the gym. My dad, like I said in the override review, my dad used to go to the gym, I would always throw this in my backpack, play with it all fucking day long. This is my favorite Transformer toy of all time. I never want to let this thing go again. I never, ever, ever want to let this thing go again. So yeah, if I had to lose everything in my collection, definitely Energon Ironhide. Although the Figma Rimuru would definitely be a, uh, a go would be a, definitely be a close second. So yeah. Uh, let's move on. That was a great question, but she asked quite a few more questions. Okay. Her next question, favorite Eevee Lucian, so, what's it, Sylveon, Sylveon, I love Sylveon, all the other Eevee, Eevee Evolutions, super boring, don't care about them whatsoever, they're all just, ooh, element, dog, combine, there you go, and then, and then there's Espeon and Umbreon, who I don't care about either, Umbreon's okay, but Sylveon, I think, is the only one that has a really cool design, I was a big fan of the fairy type that got introduced in that uh, era, what era was that, was that X and Y, I loved X and Y, I'm pretty sure it was X and Y, um, yeah, uh, definitely Sylveon, I love Sylveon. Definitely my favorite EV evolution. Uh, okay, and then the next thing she asks, uh, a, a Transformer you love but will never buy. There's definitely quite a few. Uh, one that comes to mind, definitely Energon Wing Saber. That is one I've always, always, always wanted. That thing looks so fucking cool, but it is like near impossible to get. That thing is like, that thing is literally like a fucking unicorn. It just doesn't exist. I've never seen that figure go for anything less than like $400. So yeah. Um, another obvious one, Haslab Unicron, obviously. What, T what TF uh, what TF collector doesn't want that fucking figure because they completely missed out on it because they didn't have six hundred dollars to spend on a fucking Unicron uh, when that day was being uh, was being fucking um, greenlit. That's my fault. If I if I had really worked for it, I could have I could have gotten that thing. I really could have. But actually, I think at that time I wasn't fully back into Transformers. I think I was just picking one up here and there every now and then. So I have my defenses. I don't have any defenses for Star Saber though. I just couldn't afford it, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, that. That is that one. I think those are the um, those are definitely the main two. I would say those are the two I, I I love. I would love to get them, but I don't know if I ever will. Uh, an anime figure that you love that will you will never buy. Okay. Oh, I know. Uh, the so I recently got into Death Note. As a lot of you guys know, I watched Death Note. I fucking loved it. I love Death Note. Oh my god, that show makes my top ten. Fucking loved that show. Part one, masterpiece. Holy shit, I love that goddamn thing so much. That was like the most epic cat and mouse game I have ever seen in my life. And uh, and then part two, I thought it was a pretty big downgrade from part one, if I'm being honest. Uh, other than the opening, the part two opening, I'm gonna say this. Death Note part two op uh, part two opening, what's up people? My favorite anime opening of all time, period. Exclusive, just that. That is my favorite opening of all time. Go listen to that shit if you haven't seen Death Note. Oh my god. Um, but, the, but part two, I really liked it. I thought it was really, really good, but I didn't like it anywhere near as much as part one. But part one, masterpiece. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, I got into that, and I want those, there, there's Nendoroids of L and Light, and I want those, the 2.0 uh, Nendoroids, but they are impossible to find. I could only get, on eBay, they go for like $200, $300 for a freaking 
Nendoroid, I can't justify that. I want them so bad, especially the L, because L is my favorite character. But oh, I can't justify it. It's too much. It's too much. I want them so bad, but it's just too much, unfortunately. So yeah. Uh, and another one that came out recently that I really want, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull the trigger on it. This one I actually might go for though. So though that's the answer to the question, but I'm gonna throw this one in here as well. They just revealed a bunny suit Rimaru figure from Tensora, which is my favorite anime, as you all know. And um, I want it so bad. If you've seen Tensora, you know why that's funny. Rimaru being in a being in a bunny outfit, you know why that's funny. But it's five hundred goddamn dollars. Are you serious? I am saving up right now for a huge ass Rimaru statue that is way cooler than that one and is like two hundred dollars cheaper. What the fuck? What? Who came up with the price on that fucking Rimuru bunny figure? I don't like the bunny figures at all. I'm not into that aesthetic at all. It is not my kink, but that's funny, man. And I love Tensora more than life itself at this point. So yeah, pretty damn funny. That's definitely what I want as well. So that's my answer for that one. Okay. Liam Neeson Smasher Pass. Uh, I like girls, so it's gonna be a pass for me, but uh, if I was a girl, hard smash, definitely. Alright, opinion on Grimlock. Fun character, I like Grimlock. Uh, not my favorite Dinobot. I've always liked, uh, personally, well, if I'm being real with you, my favorite Dinobot is this one. But if I had to pick an actual favorite Dinobot, it'd probably be Sludge, honestly. I think Sludge is a really cool character. Uh, but yeah, Grimlock's a cool character. And opinions on Grimjow. Definitely one of my favorite Bleach characters. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Bleach. I, I thought I thought most of it was pretty damn rough to get through, honestly, and I fucking hate all the filler arcs. Um, but Grim Jow, definitely one of the cooler characters of that, because I, I might be remembering this wrong. I might be remembering this wrong. It's been a very long time since I've watched Bleach, but didn't he, like, defect or something like that, wasn't he? Didn't he get, like, pissed at, uh, at Aizen and the Espada and he, like, defected and kind of teamed up with Ichigo or some shit like that? I don't know. I can't remember 100% what happened. I Wait, no, he, like, okay, so the Espada like kidnaps Orihime and then he like let her go or something like that. I can't remember. It's been so goddamn long. Uh, but definitely a cool character. Not my favorite Espada. I think my favorite Espada is the the fucking Hell King. That dude was so cool. If you remember uh, in Bleach, the, the guy he was like an old man and then when he revealed his true form, he was like this fucking like overlord of death. It was so cool. That's my favorite Espada from Bleach. But yeah, uh, Grimjow, pretty damn cool character. I like him quite a bit. Uh, Ukiyor is also very, very, very cool. All right. Very good. I love those questions. Thank you so much, Mac Owens, for participating. Those were some excellent top tier questions. All righty, Char, a fellow Tensora mega fan. We have been talking so much in the comments. Super, super fun. And I've honestly been kind of dreading answering this first one because, oh, he's going to hate me after I answer this. Hopefully, he can uh, just remember that this is just my opinion and this is coming from a very huge longtime fan of this show that we're about to talk about. He asks, why do you like Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds more than the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, here we go. We've, we, we mentioned this in a little comment and uh, oh my gosh, okay. Let's, 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 let's just get into it. I want to establish real quick that real quick. I need to establish two things real quick. I'm an actual legit Yu-Gi-Oh player, okay? This is my collection down here. I have multiple decks. I have tons of cards. I have my binder back there. I legitimately play Yu-Gi-Oh. So that is the kind of person you're talking to right now. And also, I adore Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is my favorite shonen, my favorite shonen jump anime, my favorite shonen jump series, and one of my favorite animes and TV shows of all time. I adore Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I love that show so goddamn much. But, okay, let, let's get into this. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say right off the bat, and I'm just gonna come out and say this. I think the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh, the original series, is garbage. I fucking hate the first season of the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Literally unwatchable, in my opinion. If you've never seen the original Yu-Gi-Oh, the first season is the biggest pile of bullshit I have ever seen. They just make the rules up as they go along. It's the dumbest shit in the world. They completely 
disregard all of the rules that the actual game had and they just make shit up as they go along and it's the dumbest shit you'll ever watch in your entire fucking life. Oh my god, I absolutely despise the original season of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the worst thing about it, the one thing I hate the most about it, is that the way the game is designed, that they that the game is designed in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! is that there's they okay, there's no rule that you can attack your opponent directly in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! So all you have to do is not summon monsters and you can't lose. There's no there's no rule that says you can't summon a monster and there's no rule that says you can attack your opponent directly. Therefore, you literally can just not summon monsters and you can literally make the duel last until someone decks out. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. And then, oh my god, don't even get me started on some of the shit they bring in that, oh, your castle of dark illusions was only being held up by my swords of revealing light. So as soon as my swords of revealing light go off, your castle will fall and kill you and all your monsters. That's how this game works, bitches. <laughs> so awful, I can't stand the original season of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm talking about season one, not season zero. Season zero kind of slaps. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you. If you haven't seen season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's dark. Let me say that. It's very, very dark. It's very fucked up. Season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh! is like Saw meets Yu-Gi-Oh! It's fucking awesome. And I know like Saw meets Yu-Gi-Oh! is basically Yu-Gi-Oh! But even more so with season zero. Like, Season Zero is fucked up, and I love it. Season Zero is so good. Yugi is basically Jigsaw. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I love that. So, yeah, I love that. I, I should have probably established that first. Love Season Zero. Hate Season 1. Season 2, though, Battle City slaps. Season 2. Battle City fucking rules. I love Battle City. Merrick is a fucking amazing villain. Love Merrick. Love Battle City. My favorite part of the whole show by far. Can't even count the amount of epic, iconic scenes in Battle City. So fucking good. And then about midway through Battle City, you get the arc with, uh, with, with, uh, with Kaiba's little virtual, um, little virtual brother. And that arc is okay. It was pretty cool seeing Exodia Necros. So that one's pretty cool. And then they finish up Battle City. And then I think think is Pyramid of Light, which slaps. I love Pyramid of Light. That's a great movie. And then after that is Waking the Dragons after that. I think Waking the Dragons is after that. And that slaps. Waking the Dragons is fucking awesome. I love Waking the Dragons. I know I might, I think, I think I'm in the minority. I've heard a lot of people talk shit on Waking the Dragons. That's the Ori Kalkos arc, if you don't remember. Uh, I love that arc. I think that arc fucking rules, man. I love those characters. All the Ori, all the Ori Kalkos gang guys. Those guys were awesome. I love that arc. So yeah, Waking the Dragons slaps. And then after that, I think is the uh, the tournament arc with the pink haired French guy, and I actually liked that one as well. I thought that one was pretty fun as well. And then the last one is the prequel arc with the with the uh, Egyptian. Well, not really prequel. The the Egyptian thing and the big serpent guy with the snake dick. Yeah. Um, and Bakora, obviously. Yeah, that arc is okay. Definitely, the, the ending is pretty amazing of that arc. The fight between Atem and, and Yugi. That one's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's the original Yu-Gi-Oh! One season I love, another season I really like. Like, Battle City, fucking A+. I love that shit. S-tier, actually. I give Battle City an S-tier. That shit's iconic. That shit rules. Um, Waking the Dragons, I give it a, an A+. I think that's pretty awesome. One of my favorite arcs of Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's what you're looking at with the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Why do I think 5Ds is better? <laughs> 5Ds, uh, I'm just going to come in and say this, I think 5Ds is light years better than the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I think 5Ds is one of the best fucking animes ever made. I put that show up there with Attack on Titan, man. That show is so good. The character development in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is unbelievable. It is so amazing. You have characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds that start to show off as a villain and then become like main awesome lovable characters by like halfway through the show. It's fucking outstanding. And then... You say, you say is 15 million times the duelist Yugi ever was and ever will be. You say is a legitimately skilled and amazing player at the game. He used combos, combos that were actually used in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh play. His, the way he summons a Quasar Dragon is how they used to summon Quasar Dragon in competitive play. That shit is like you can't even argue. Like the the combos that you say would pull off using his like junk synchron and all that shit, it was legitimately skill for Yu-Gi-Oh play and that shows because he never lost technically okay technically he never lost he absolutely lost one game we all know that one game that you say absolutely 100% definitely lost you know I totally won that duel no no you say you lost that duel um but 
Other than that one, he never lost a game. He was a legitimately skilled player. And the way he goes from absolutely nothing, everything involving that, that show with the dystopian future, with the satellite and, uh, and Neo Domino City, and how perfectly they go about it, how you say is basically a criminal in the beginning, and then he slowly becomes like the top ranking duelist of all time in that timeline anyway. I've, I, I never finished Zexel, I never finished Arc 5, and I never even watched Vrains. So yeah. Uh, but in that timeline, he became the highest ranking duelist of all time through sheer skill. There's a freaking part in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds where you say takes down three top tier duelists in a row in one match. We're not talking beats him, reset, beats him, reset, beats him. We're talking, you say, 40 cards, 4,000 life points, beats three dudes in a row. I'm dead serious. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds is fucking amazing. And then, not, and then getting and then off of Yusei, the other characters as well. Aki is Izayoi is the best waifu of Yu-Gi-Oh! by far. Take your dark magician girl and throw it in a fucking paper shredder, dude. I don't give a shit. Aki is Izayoi is such an amazing character. The way she goes from this literal, like, almost borderline serial killer in the first season to one of the main characters and one of the absolute most lovable characters in her, the relationship she builds with Yusei, and everything about her arc, how she has so, it's such a, it's such a complicated, amazing arc, how she goes from, like, the bad guy, starts realizing that she might be, you know, in the wrong and to, and to trust Yusei, and maybe the Arcadia movement kind of is, is a little sus, uh, and then the way it, go, it all goes down with Misty and her brother who got kidnapped. It's just fucking masterful, man. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D so much. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm ranting, but I love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D so goddamn much. And, uh, yeah, I, I think the character development is light years better. I think the, um, what else? I think I think the, the actual duels themselves are light years better, because in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! They just fucking do something, and then they talk for ten minutes, and then they finally do another thing. In Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, the duels are fast. They're action-packed. They're epic. Epic. And I just, I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, man. I, I'll be honest with you. Yes, it's probably just because I love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds so goddamn much, but I genuinely think that show is a masterpiece. I genuinely think Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is a fucking masterpiece. And if you haven't watched it, watch it. I promise you, you will not regret it. Watch it. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, are you ever going to make a, this is also by, by, from Char, by the way. We're continuing with Char's questions. Uh, are you ever going to make a Discord server? No, I tried that in the past. It did not work out. I was not into it at all. I am not, yeah, not, no. The, the comment section is, is more than enough for me. Uh, will you do other content like gaming or vlogs? I've tried. It doesn't work very well. Um, I, I know I'm a very small channel to begin with, but they don't get anywhere. There's a couple videos, if you're really interested in seeing me play and what games I play, there's a couple videos on the channel of me playing some of my favorite games, like Spelunky. Uh, I don't think there's any of me playing Nuclear Throne, which is my favorite game of all time. Maybe at some point, I'll play some Nuclear Throne on here, because I'm a god at Nuclear Throne. I'm, I'm sure nobody knows what that fucking game is, but I'm a god at that fucking game. Uh, so maybe someday you guys will get to see my nuclear throne plays unless you're very 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 old viewer of this channel still watching in which case you have seen me play nuclear throne but yeah uh, and then I think that is it yes I think that was all of his questions so there you go oh no he has some more okay hang on other than anime and transformers what uh, other figs do you collect? Uh, none, because I can barely afford those two hobbies as it is. <laughs> right now, I can barely afford to collect anime figures right now. I have to save up so much money for all my am for all my an anime figure pre-orders, man. I have so many that I have to save up for. 90% of them are Tensora figures, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I, I can't, I cannot afford other hobbies. I have this collection right here in my NECA figures. These are the only ones I've kept. Uh, no, I, no, I actually, I kept quite a few. They're in my closet. These are the ones I display, though. I like these figures a lot. Some of my favorites are the Jason and the Jig saw right there. Uh, I like these figures. These figures are pretty cool. Oh, and the Predator. The Predator is pretty cool as well. Uh, no, I have not seen Prey, so don't ask. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And uh, yeah, so those, that's it. Uh, I don't collect anything else. Uh, Transformers anime figures, and I'm struggling to keep, to keep up with those, man. I'm, I'm so behind on Transformers, man. There's so many figures coming out, and I just can't afford to get them all, and then they just keep making more than I want. And now I want that fucking G.I. Joe Megatron, too, because all the reviews are coming out. It looks fucking awesome. So yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I can't definitely not afford another another collection hobby on top of this uh what's your end goal for collecting this question i really don't know how to answer i don't have an end goal i'm just going to keep buying the things that i want and ignoring the things i don't want so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it I don't really have an end goal so there you go char i hope you're not too pissed at me for what i said about the uh for what i said about the Yu-Gi-Oh question please just keep in mind 
that it, you're, you're talking to like the biggest 5Ds fan on the face of the earth, okay? I would be very, very surprised if there's another person on this planet earth who loves Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds as much as I do. That is my third or fourth favorite anime of all time, dude. Just, just let me have that one, okay? I'm sorry if it made you mad, but let me have that one, okay? All right, let's move on. The Horizon. This guy's been pretty active on my, on my channel. Thank you so much for all of your comments, your support, man. Feels great. I love seeing you, man. Uh, yeah, awesome. All right, he asks, a character in Legacy you want to see that hasn't been revealed yet. Okay, let's go for something crazy. I don't want to just say something, uh, I don't, I don't want to just say something basic and boring. Energon Mirage. <laughs> Energon Mirage. If you've never seen Energon Mirage, I kid you not, the dude has two massive halves of a boat hanging off of his legs. It's the funniest and most amazing thing I've ever seen. Uh, Energon Mirage is one I want to see. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. But I had the toy as a kid. It got absolutely uh, destroyed somewhere along the road. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened to that thing, but it got obliterated. I think I think I found like the arms and the legs at some point as a kid, and I never found any piece other oh man that toy had a rough life with me it's if i ever get another energon mirage i will take very 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 good care of it but can't see that happening it's pretty hard to get yeah energon mirage make it happen hasbro all right next question uh favorite tf show besides prime let me make very clear that my favorite tf show is prime and i think that show is a fucking masterpiece i love prime so much it is one of my favorite tv shows of all time that show is on par with me my my like my, my favorite tv shows of all time are breaking bad tensora transformers prime and zoe 101 <laughs> oh so yeah uh, let me make sure let me make sure it's established that prime is 100 percent my favorite transformers film show not only my favorite transformers show it's my favorite piece of transformers media movie Movie, game, show, my favorite. Prime. Amazing. God tier. And if, if this this weird, like, obsession that people have that people are not allowed to like Prime anymore, fuck the fuck off, okay? All of these fucking Prime haters that came out of nowhere, I will fight you. Come at me, I will fight you. That show is a masterpiece. Okay. <laughs> people just like to hate things because they're popular. And I can't say too much because I don't like Demon Slayer very much and it's kind of just because it's popular and I'm so sick of hearing about it. Like, dude, if you watch, like, if you actually watched anime, Demon Slayer's not that fucking good. But I don't know. That, that, I'm just going to move on from that before I get a fucking angry mob after me. Uh, okay. And the last thing he had... Oh, wait. I didn't ask her that question. Uh, what's my favorite show besides Prime? Beast Wars. Definitely Beast Wars. I like Beast Wars quite a lot. Uh, I think season one, for the most part, is kind of unremarkable. The first couple episodes are great and then you get a lot of filler and then one episode in particular I'm going to say I genuinely hate in Beast Wars is the one where Rhinox gets like sick and he has like this Energon fever that shit was fucking stupid okay uh but yeah season one for the most part is is kind of meh the first the first couple episodes are great the last couple episodes are great but everything in the middle is kind of whatever um Season 2 is masterful, absolutely masterpiece. I love season 2 so goddamn much. The character development that show between like uh, Black Arachnia and uh and uh, what's his name? Silver Bull and all that shit. It's so so good. I love that. Uh, and then, oh, by the way, oh, I guess I, I forgot to say, though, that's all in season one, isn't it? Uh, Dinobot's whole arc, that's amazing, though. Let me, let me make sure that I get that out there. Uh, Code of Heroes, absolutely phenomenal. Like, all of that. I know some people are gonna be like, wait a second, Dinobot! Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That, that is also in season one, and that's also really great as well. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Beast Wars. And then season three, season three is pretty good. Uh, I think season three is a little, on my most recent rewatch of Beast Wars, which was a couple months ago, um, I didn't think season three was anywhere near as good as I thought it was on my first watch, but I still enjoy it. It's, still, it's still a good one. I really don't like it. So there's a three-part episode of Beast Wars Season 3 uh, that's going over uh, Cheetor and all of, and Cheetor, like, becoming a trans metal, and I didn't like it. I don't like that I don't like that little three-part bit at all. I don't know if, if you guys know what episode I'm talking about, but it's just really boring, and Cheetor's not a good character, so... Yeah, uh, Beast Wars, though, definitely. If I, if I had to be something besides Prime, definitely Beast Wars. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why isn't it animated? Animated's a good show, but I fucking hate the art style, and I'm also not really a fan of how they handled Optimus Prime in that show. I, I know people are gonna say, oh, it's unique and it's cool, but I don't like the idea of Optimus Prime being the underdog and being like, uh, and being like treated so, being treated so poorly by all the other, by, by so many people. Like having Ultra Magnus be the leader in Sentinel Prime and all that. I, it just didn't sit right with me, okay? Uh, but Animated's a good show. Let me make that clear. It's a good show. It's got good writing. Uh, yeah, so that is that. I need to, uh, fill up some space on my, on my camera real quick, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's finish this up. We only got a couple more questions. Like I said, didn't get very many. Alrighty, do you ever... Blah, 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 uh, this isn't your fault. This is my handwriting. Uh, do you ever... 
Oh, did you ever play the Cybertron games? If so, what's your favorite? I guess you mean I'm, I'm guessing you mean the War for Cybertron games, the War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron. I didn't. I never played those games. The only Transformers games I played was the uh, the DS games for the uh, 07 movie. I loved those games as a kid. The the DS ones, the uh, the, uh, the Autobots and the Decepticon ones. Only the first one though, the the, the Revenge of the Fallen was garbage. Uh, but the first one, the first DS games for the for the 07 movie, those were fucking phenomenal. I loved those games. I would love to own those again and play them again now honestly I've, I've looked into it i've looked into getting new caught to getting those to getting those games again and playing them again because those are great but no i never played war for cybertron or fall of cybertron i never played um what's that new one called devastation i never played any of those games unfortunately i'm sure they're fun i've heard a lot of people say they love fall of cybertron and war for cybertron and uh and also we have uh listings right now that we're going to be getting new figures from those on the, in the studio series line so i don't know if those are good i'll pick them up so yeah then maybe that'll make me uh that'll make me uh want to go get those although i don't know what system those are on i know they're not on switch because i've looked uh i don't know what other systems they're on i think they're on i know they're on ds i think i'm pretty sure because i remember them i remember seeing them on ds as a kid when they came out um and then I think they might be on PlayStation, which I don't have. The only gaming system I have now is a Switch, because it's the only one I it's the only one I need, because it's the only one that plays the games I like. So yeah, uh, very very cool though. Um, but yeah, that that's 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 to answer your question. I've not played the War for Cybertron or or, or Fall of Cybertron games. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you meant. But yeah, there, there you go. Alrighty, the next guy. Thank you so much, uh, the Arisen. Thank you so much for all your support, man. You rule. I love you, man. Thank you so much. Alrighty, next up is from Tico, and oh man, this first one, I've been, I've not been looking forward to answering this one. Rank the Tensora openings and endings. See, if it was just the openings, that'd be fucking easy. But the endings too? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious right now? Okay, let me get the easy one out of the way first. Last place, uh, season one, part two ending. It's not bad. I don't hate it or anything, but it's the only one that I w I could I I, I almost want to skip that one when it comes on because it's just like it's fine. I like the visuals a lot. I like the whole picnic when uh when you know like the, the fish comes and attacks uh fucking uh the, the little what's his name? What's his goddamn name? How can I not remember a sensor character's name? The kid, the fire kid. Oh my god, Kenya, Kenya Misaki. Uh, he, the, the fish attacks Kenya, and then, uh, and then Rimuru blazes it up, and then it's just a picnic, and all the characters come in. I love that part about it. Uh, but aside from that, the song is just kind of blah. I'm, I'm ranking these based on the songs, by the way. I'm ranking these based off the songs. And the song is just kind of bland, in my opinion. I don't know. It's okay. I think that one's by True. It might be wrong, but I think that one's by True. And as, if so, it's definitely my least favorite of all the, of all of True songs that are in Tensora. Uh, so that one's easy. And then also easy as well season one part two opening as well i don't mean to hate on season one part one it's, it's fucking awesome every second of tensora is fucking awesome that show gets a perfect score from beginning to end um but uh but the season the season one part two uh opening would definitely be next it's good i really like the beginning part of that i like the piano at the beginning of that that's really good uh but aside from that it, it's just kind of uh it's just kind of there it's it's just definitely not the one i r remember the most when i think of tensora i think of nameless story and like flames i don't think about that one in another colony i don't think about that one one. So yeah, uh, and then after that, so we got those. After that, I'd probably say Storyteller would be after that, which is season two, part one opening. Great, love it. One of my favorite of the true of the of, uh, one of my favorite true songs, but uh, definitely would have to put it at that part. And then after that, I guess Story Seeker would be next after that. Although that one's really good. Uh, don't get me wrong, all, all of these are really good. But uh, yeah, Story Seeker. I like that one a lot. I like the beginning a lot of that. The look of the kind of little rap part at the beginning. That part's pretty good. Um, but probably my least favorite of all of Ron's songs from that. Um, the the Slime Diaries one actually. I don't. Did, was I supposed to rank the Slime Diaries opening as well on that? I'm gonna say no. I think it's just I think it's just regular Tensor, not Slime Diaries. Uh, but yeah, uh, Story Seeker after that. And then, okay, so now we're down to the last four. Holy shit, how the hell do I rank these four? All four of these are S+, plus, man. All four of these are S+. Plus. I'll say the next one. Oh, my God. Is it Reincarnate? I mean, I know what the top two are. You know what the top two are, too. But is it is it Reincarnate? I think it might be Reincarnate. Reincarnate is so good. I, I want to put Reincarnate higher, but this is where it has to go. Reincarnate is fucking amazing. That's my favorite song by Ron, definitely. Um, uh, But yeah, that's where it's going to have to go. I love that song, though. I fucking love that ending. That ending is amazing. Uh, and then after Reincarnate... um, Oh, man. 
Like I said, I know what the top two are, but do I though? Okay, yeah, I'll go with this. Another Colony uh, for number three. Another Colony is amazing. I love that that's my favorite True song. I love Another Colony. That shit is so good. The visuals are so good. Oh my god, that little segment of, uh, the, the little segment where it's showing the ogres after the aftermath of getting their village destroyed and then Rimuru coming in and, and making their lives better. Oh, it just gives me life, man. I love Another Colony. Absolutely amazing. That's number three. And then number two... Oh, these, these two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going with it. Like Flames for number two, Name a Story for number one. Definitely. Name a Story is what I consider the Ten Sora song. That, when I think of Ten Sora, I think of Name a Story, because that shit just fucking slaps. But Like Flames, definitely number two. Like Flames rules. I really hope that Midna Rain will do more openings in the future for Ten Sora, because that shit fucking rules. Oh my god, that, that was just epic. That was so epic, especially when it plays in the finale and the fight between him and Clayman. Oh man, that shit is so good. But yeah, number two, like flames, number one, name a story. There we go, I did it. That was the that was the question I was the most scared to answer. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Is there an upcoming anime? Also by Tico. Is there an upcoming anime you're excited for? Chainsaw Man. I am stoked for Chainsaw Man. That shit looks epic. And it's by Mappa. Mappa does not miss, man. Jujutsu Kaisen slapped. Attack on Titan is god tier. Fucking um uh they're doing a uh, Vinland Saga season two. I watched the first part of Vinland Saga. I liked it quite a bit, but towards the end I started to lose interest a little bit. I will say the opening is god here though. What was the opening for that? So, uh, Survive said the prophet, the the first opening for Vinland Saga. I haven't watched part two yet. I've only seen part one. That opening is amazing though. But yeah, Vinland Saga. Uh, that they're doing Vinland Saga as well, and I'm excited for that as well. I have to finish. Uh, I have to finish the show before that comes out though. So yeah, it's by Mappa. I have full faith in Mappa that they were gonna that they're gonna knock it out of the park with Chainsaw Man and those trailers. Oh my god, that shit looks fucking epic. Now, uh, if if I'm allowed to also say sequels, like uh, like uh, like uh, continuations of shows and that, obviously, I mean Tensora. It's my favorite anime. I can't wait to see what happens next in Tensora, the movie. I can't wait. I'm so fucking stoked. Even if I have to go see it subbed, I don't care. I've actually been watching uh, a few subbed anime here and there. Even if I have to go see it subbed, I don't care. I'm seeing that movie in theater because it's dead Sora, it's dead Sora. Um, so yeah, I uh, can't wait for that. And I'm also really excited to see the Laid Back Camp movie to see my, my Laid Back Camp shirt. I love this show so much. I love Laid Back Camp. Uh, yeah, I'm really stoked to see uh, to see the Laid Back Camp movie as well, the Yuru Camp movie as well, because I fucking love Yuru Camp. Yuru Camp is my favorite anime I've watched in the last like two or three months for sure. I love that show. Uh, and then uh, he asks, what is in your opinion the best overall anime you have watched? Okay. That definitely is down to Attack on Titan or ReZero. Those are the two that are fighting it out right now. I, 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 I struggle to say which one I think is the winner there. I think both of those shows are absolute masterpieces. Like, even above, like, what you would consider a, a masterpiece when it comes to anime. Those shows just transcend it. The, the, their, their, their storytelling, uh, the, the writing, everything about ReZero and Attack on Titan, I think are just the best I have ever seen. Not only from anime, but just in general. Like, Attack on Titan, from beginning to end I thought was fucking incredible like every single part of Attack on Titan every single second of Attack on Titan even when there were characters I hated like Zeke and uh what's that guy's name Kenny the Ripper those two characters I fucking hated those characters but they they were perfectly worked into the story that they still felt needed they still felt like they they needed to be there and that show is just it's really masterful man I I've been seeing some people like hating on Attack on Titan recently and you're calling it like so bad and I'm just like have you watched the show? Cause like, it's not one of my favorites of all time or anything. Attack on Titan is not one of my favorite animes of all time. But like, how on earth could you call that show bad? It's so goddamn good from start to finish, man. I, I, I don't know. If you think that, man, what, what the hell is up with you, man? You need to watch better anime. That's what's up with you. Uh, so yeah, I think I'd have to say Attack on Titan. Although ReZero would certainly be the number two, uh, for me. Cause I think ReZero has absolutely phenomenal storytelling and world building. Uh, um, I I think the characters are better in ReZero. I will say that. The characters and the character development in ReZero, I would put over Attack on Titan. That's one thing I will say about Attack on Titan. It doesn't have that many great characters. Mikasa's cool. Eren's a great character, and I love his arc throughout the show and what he eventually becomes in the final season. Um... 
Uh, I love Hanji. Hanji's my favorite character of Attack on Titan. I love Ervin, although, you know, Ervin, you know, <laughs> um, no spoilers. <laughs> uh, Levi's amazing. I fucking love Levi. I didn't like Levi immediately, but oh my god, after like like two or three seasons, I was like, I get it. Levi's fucking awesome. That I'm not going to spoil one scene, but that scene in season three, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. The scene in season three, him versus a certain somebody. Oh my god, that shit was fucking epic. <laughs> so yeah, Levi's awesome as well. I would have to say to answer your question i would have to say attack on titan re-zero is certainly my number two pick but attack on titan definitely would be uh what i would consider the best overall in terms of quality anime i have watched that show is just it's really masterful just the way it transitions from season to season man and my god what what happens in season three to season four i'm not gonna get into it in case of spoilers because it's fucking insane but I thought it just stuck the landing absolutely perfectly. I've never seen a plot twist just get stuck so goddamn hard. So yeah, Attack on Titan would be my answer to that with ReZero being a very close second. All right, Mochi, uh, thank you so much for your for your questions, Tico. You rock. Uh, Mochi, what's your favorite Transformer? That is Energon. Ironhide is my favorite Transformer toy. My favorite Transformers character, though, is RC. Specifically Prime RC, but I do love other incarnations of RC as well. I love G1 RC. I love Energon RC. I love Cyberverse RC. I love RC. RC's my girl, man. I love RC. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. And then, is Mayo an instrument? Uh, no, and neither is Horseradish. So, yeah. Alrighty, and the final question I got, I got this like at the last second, like right before I, uh, I started uh, getting uh, I started getting ready to record this video. Uh, the Last Potato Chip asks, do you have any tips as a longtime collector you wish you knew or any tips you wish you, uh, or any, I'm sorry, once again, this is my handwriting, it's not your fault. Uh, or any tips on where to uh, give people that are starting to collect, starting to get into the hobby. All I would say is buy only things that you know what you want. Wants. Do not buy it unless you know you fucking want it. Because if you spend a ton of money on something, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I got this thing recently. This is the Hot Toys Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. Now, I love this movie. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. But this was not the right figure to get uh, because I am just not into this figure at all. And it was so insanely expensive. This is the only hot toy I've ever had. And don't get me wrong, it's cool and all, but I can't, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess with it. I don't like the stand because this is how she stands. Like, they have all this space and she stands here and there's nothing you can do about it because of the way the stand works. And she doesn't stand up on her own either. And this thing is just insane. Like, all of this clothes is like legit clothes and the face is insane. It's like, I, I, I struggle to say I don't like this figure, but I definitely regret buying it because it was so expensive. This thing was $250 or something around that. $250. That's like, I could have bought 10 Transformers for the amount I paid for this. Or 5 Figmas or 4 fucking 10 or 7 Nendoroids, man. Like... Yeah, I certainly regret buying this. I'm, I do like it because, you know, I love this movie and I love this character, but I definitely do regret buying this and I wish I could go back in time and stop myself from buying it because, I don't know, it's just it's just not my thing. I would have much rather gotten like a little action figure of Harley Quinn uh, from this movie instead of this because I'm just not into this kind of thing. I, I, found, I, I, I officially know that I am officially not into this kind of thing. I'm not into these like one six scale figures because I just can't do anything with it. I, I can't pose it around or mess with it. That's why I love Figmas and Transformers and yeah, this, this was just not the right purchase for me. I should have got like the SH figure arts or something like that. So only buy figures you know you want, you know you're going to want to keep, and you know you're not going to want to sell later on. If you need to sell it, that's fine. That That's absolutely fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to buy something like super expensive like this, make sure you want it. Make absolute sure you want it and you're not just going to, and you're not going to get it and then immediately a couple weeks later just be like, oh, that was a big waste of money. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's like the only thing I would say, but there you go. That is all of the questions I got asked. I, I managed to make it last, didn't I? I managed to make it last. It got, got kind of ranty at some points there, but hey, who cares? There was barely any questions, so why not? Make it ranty, make it last, make it a fun and entertaining video. And hopefully it was. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got, I hope all the people who asked questions are satisfied with the answers I gave. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much once again for all of these people who bothered to participate in my Q&A. Thank you so much. That really meant a lot to me. Uh, I'm so glad that I actually was able to do it this time, because uh, last time it just Man, that hurt. And it really, it, it didn't feel great this time either. Having so many people, having just like six, seven, a lot of, what does that video, what does that video have? Like, uh, 75 views and, uh, five questions, that seven people asked. And, uh, there was even a couple people who just put comments and didn't ask questions at all. Like, you know, uh, didn't feel great. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, I hope to see you next one. Uh, let's see, what um, can I give you a teaser for the next video? I don't think I can. I don't think I have it. It's going to be some kind of Transformers review, I'm pretty sure, because right now I can't afford anime figures because they're so goddamn expensive. So yeah, um, so yeah, it'll be a Transformers review of some kind. I think last one was uh, was Override, so it'll probably be SS86RC. Yeah, probably be, it'll almost certainly be SS86RC, which is an awesome figure. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and this is the ALT. I'll sign it out.